Paul Atreides, played by Timothy Chalamet in the movie Dune, I feel serves as such a good representation of the modern man, or woman for that matter. It is the cliched story of a man's rise to power going from boy to man, however, I find the story of Paul Atreides to be a little different. He is a man who is actively hiding from power. Deep down, he wants it, but he allows his mind to tell him he isn't strong enough. And I think a cool topic for this video would be to discuss the fact that we all do have a little bit of Paul Atreides inside of us. We all allow our mind to tell us we don't deserve something or that we can't achieve something. And in this video, I'm going to break down why we should never listen to our mind. When we first see Paul Atreides at the start of Dune, we can see he's a young man and is scared. We can also see the potential, but perhaps Paul doesn't even see the potential within himself. He constantly has visions of himself in the future, being a stoic, ruthless, powerful leader, but he doesn't know if that's a vision of his future or just a dream, something he will never attain. And that is exactly where we're all similar to Paul Atreides. We all have visions of the exact person we want to become in the future. However, we allow our minds to tell us that we don't deserve that or that we will never achieve that success. We always see other people achieve and we always say that we aren't special and that we can't achieve the greatness that other people have. But that is the key other people. They are just people. They are humans just like us, except when their mind told them to give up or not to try something, they didn't listen to their mind. And that is why we shouldn't listen to our minds either. The way Denis Villeneuve expresses this truth in Dune is honestly amazing. He hits the nail right on the head, showing us that we all have greatness within ourselves and we just need to ignore our mind. Because we all think our mind is the greatest truth teller, when in reality, the mind lies to you. We have all programmed our minds to lie to us, to tell us to give up when we are only 40% complete. It tells us not to try something even though we want to. Even me personally, I wanted to start a YouTube channel for years, but I always told myself that I wasn't good enough or that I wouldn't make a good enough channel to succeed on this platform. And no, I'm not the biggest YouTuber in the world, but I'm getting paid now. I get paid monthly from YouTube and I was able to quit my job because of it. And all of that stems from the fact that I told myself not to listen to my mind and I went for it anyways. And the fact of the matter is that it's only been 13 months. So as long as I keep telling myself to ignore my mind, imagine where I could be be with this channel in just another year. And I know many of you guys have visions just like Paul and Dune. You all have visions of your future and what you want to achieve, yet you always put it off because you listen to your mind. I'm telling you, your mind lies and there's science to back this up. Countless studies over and over again have proven that when our mind tells us we are too tired or too ugly or whatever negative talk it says, in reality, we always have more. And this is why I love movies because film Films like Dune and characters like Paul Atreides show us in an entertaining way the truths of life. I make these videos to show you through watching movies like Dune and reading books of the same kind, we can learn these little nuggets and improve our life together. And on that, another reason why we should never listen to our mind is because our mind is only programmed to know what it knows. What I mean by this is that we think we can't run past five kilometers because we've only ever run five kilometers. When if you would push yourself to just run another two kilometers and make it seven kilometers, your mind now tells you that you can run seven kilometers and that you are a person that can run seven kilometers. Because even though yesterday your mind was telling you you can only run five kilometers, just by pushing past what your mind told you your limit was, you're able to expand your mind to believing that you can achieve running another two kilometers. Even though you're the exact same person you were yesterday and pretty much at the exact exact same fitness level. Do you guys see what I'm trying to say here? I'm not telling you guys to go out and push yourselves past your boundaries and injure yourself. But what I am saying is that each week we can all improve five or 10% and move forward together. We can always push to do more, even though our mind tells us we can't achieve that or that it's just impossible. And just by improving your ceiling five or 10% each week, your ceiling is endless and you can always improve and get better. We see it with Paul Atreides towards the end of part one, he pushes himself in a fight past his limit and exceeds his own mind's expectations. And he suddenly grows in confidence and in toughness. I hope you guys like this video and I'll see you all on my next one.